All right, fellas, just got home from work, and the parts are here for this Husqvarna. So I just got done changing out the regulator, the stator. There's a new oil filter. That's a HIPAA, uh, new air cleaner. So all I did so far is I got the stator in, and the new regulator. I uh, put a new fuel filter on it. You see it's already full because that gas really feeds. <laughs> um, Got the flywheel on, key, this uh, fan. I just set the air gaps on the coils. So we're gonna go ahead and, oh, and a new battery. So that's all I've done so far. Oh, and a new spark plugs. So this will be the first start here. beans all right guys i'm gonna put the top cover on it um let it run for a bit and then i'm gonna change the oil finish up the engine and then the next step will be getting the deck back on it and see if she cuts some grass so stay tuned and i'll add more to this bit later success uh, I was mowing in the backyard it was burning off a lot of the oil and crud that was caked all over this engine uh, when I first got it home or my brother first dropped it off the oil filter was loose and the drain plug was a little loose so the whole thing was just caked with oil so I'm thinking that's what contributed to the smokiness when I was driving it yeah the oil was pretty trashed and Got the new everything new in it, stator thing, uh, rectifier, regulator, new spark plugs, air cleaner, oil filter, fuel filter. Uh, there's a new battery in it. Uh, the last thing I'm gonna have to look at is the starter solenoid. <laughs> yeah, I think from it sitting, and it must have a bad ground or something sitting outside so I'm gonna take it apart clean all the connections and uh, we'll go from there sometimes you hit the key <laughs> I want to start <laughs> but I'm pretty
pretty happy with that guys uh this thing's been sitting like i said at least a good three years year and a half the guy didn't even touch it at all used it a couple times before that so uh yeah blades cut really good when they're on the right way uh, i'm just gonna keep giving it the once over and then this one will be ready to go back to my brother so thanks for following along on this one guys I couldn't really get this stuff out of the paint, so, oh well, I got it waxed and protected, so, he can do with it what he wants now, it's got the Rooney touch on it, the white letters, he thought that was trick, so, alright guys, that'll be it for the Husqvarna, thanks for watching, and we'll join me in the next one, hopefully with the Massey, he's talking about dropping that Massey Ferguson off next, so, Alright guys, stay tuned.